First off, could you guys tell me a little bit about what it was like to be so mean or evil in this movie? Really easy. <laughs> well, Emily's just that like that every I'm day. I'm just like that all the time. Yeah. So it, was, so it was sort of quite nat naturalistic acting for this me. This is really a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. What's the best thing about fairy tales? Um, I think, you know, because there's, there are life lessons in there, in amongst an entertaining, <clears throat> fantastical sort of backdrop, you know. It's, it's good versus evil, it's, it's um, right and wrong, it's uh, your actions have consequences. So you guys are sisters in the movie and... Our teenage readers also have siblings and often they get angry with them. Do you have an advice about what to do if you get angry with your sister or brother? I encourage full physical fights. <laughs> 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 oh God, start calling the lawyers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's part of life. I was an only child, too. so I don't really know if I'm, if I'm of the position to speak as a, as a professional. <laughs> But I think it's, you know, I watch my two kids and there's just, it's, there's something so organic about the, the, the flow of the ups and the downs. And you are each other's biggest protectors in those yeah. ways. And you it, know, you can be each be... other's biggest judges in some ways, but biggest protectors. I've seen my younger brother and sister who used to fight like cat and dog and we used to just want to slap them. And now they they really have each other's back. Like there's a sort of very profound understanding between siblings, you know. And it's also just a moment in time. It's a moment. Who cares? Let it go. I think when you're a teenager, you think it's the end of the it's world. It's the end of the world. Yeah. And that this and person not. is just out to get you. Yeah. And they're just not. And yeah. as you get older, and I have such a good bond with my siblings now that it doesn't matter. Who cares? Let it go. That's not what yeah. I told her. Could you learn something about your relationship <laughs> you. with your brother or sister from this movie? Well, I don't have a brother, yeah. like in real life. Yeah, no, I... But do you think you could learn something? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I feel like I have a sisterhood with a lot of my friends, you mm -hmm. know, my girlfriends. I, I you know, I, I, I feel like I love them like if they were my own sister. And um, I think, you know, I think for me, I just try to make myself aware every single day, especially the older I get, to really let them know how much I appreciate them. You know, and I think we don't really do that when we're younger. We just kind of take things for granted. And when I think of the gifts that they give me every single day and how my life is so much richer because of these women in my life and, and like you said, how they protect you and look out after you. And mm -hmm. it's, it's, um, it truly is, you're blessed if you have that in your life. Mm -hmm. If I say forbidden love, what's the first word that comes to your mind? Forbidden love? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, in sort of... In my walks of life, in my sort of circles, it, it's, it, there, there isn't so much of that. You know, obviously in the past there was, you know, far more rules on who we could and couldn't love and, and uh, relationships and, and so on. But um, it doesn't, you know, it's pretty, you know, I think for, for me it's always been a pretty free, free choice. What's best advice if you can't be with the one you love? Oh, look, you know, to, to, to teenagers, so don't worry, you've got plenty of time. <laughs> You know, yeah. there's plenty of time for that. I'd say enjoy your life and it'll, it'll come when you least expect it, you know. Mm. If you actively seek it out, mm. then, yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't often work that way. I don't think it's not like going to the supermarket and picking one. Could you learn something from this film about love? I think the idea that love conquers all and, and, and love is the strongest sort of force to overcome any anything and, and that that is the strongest thing to live for, I think, is a fairly... Uh, positive and motivational um, attitude, and and in this film, they're you know they're against all odds, and you know I don't want to ruin the ending, but love possibly does conquer all. So yeah. So should you always fight for the person you love, no matter what? I think so. Yeah. 